So in this video, we're gonna talk about what I consider one of the most important pieces of equipment in a filmmaker's kit. So tripods, tripods I think are very underplayed, undersold, under talked about, or not talked about a lot online. And tripods, in my opinion, are an extremely important piece of kit. Being able to use a tripod properly and knowing what is the proper tripod to use for your camera can really help to elevate your game and to make your life easier when you're working on productions. So what I have here is three of my different camera setups and three different tripods. Three different tripods that I would use and I'm gonna go through different scenarios of why I would choose one tripod over another and things that you should think about when you are looking at purchasing a tripod or investing into a better tripod. So I've seen it many times of people with a pretty heavy camera rig and a tripod and tripod head that does not match what they're using for, as a camera. You know, if you're using a $40,000 camera, if you're using a black magic with built up with other battery in the back, having a tripod head, especially your head, good legs are great too, but a head that can match the weight that you want to use is going to change the way that you use a tripod if you have a tripod that works properly. And what I see a lot of times is people using a tripod that's way too light for what they're trying to use and, and or not even using a fluid head. So really with a tripod and as I said as a cinematographer, as a videographer or whatever you're calling yourself, it is one of the main tools and one of the key tools that you should have and be able to use. And what you're looking for is a tripod that's gonna balance well with your camera on it, okay? So you, you wanna be able to move your camera around and it to stay in place. You don't want it to be, you know, really pitching heavy over and the other way, which I'll show you when I put my FX9 on some of these other heads, what's gonna happen with this. And the reason you wanna have that as well, you wanna have a bit of resistance to how you're moving. This helps to getting smooth shots. A lot of people's styles and the things that they're working on, they're using handheld or they're using a gimbal. Tripods come in handy in a lot of other scenarios where you need a locked off shot or you need a smooth pan of an area. Really big for me, key when I'm using a tripod and using a well-balanced tripod is when I'm following action, when I'm using a heavier setup and when I'm using a longer lens. And I think this is the most important part of it for me when I'm shooting, if I'm, say I'm shooting surfing, and I need to be on a, a 400 mil lens with a doubler on, or so I'm using an 800 mil lens on the front of the camera, and I need to be able to move slowly and accurately. I need a tripod that matches the resistance and the weight that I need on it. Having it on something else and being all floppy, it just doesn't work. And I think that's where people don't think a tripod can really do things for them. I think a lot of people getting into filmmaking and doing YouTube video content and creating their own travel films are really not thinking about that on their tripods because they just haven't used a tripod properly before. So the small one I have here, this little uh, me, I would call this like my travel kind of tripod or this like a smaller rig that I'm using. It is set up really more for using a DSLR on it. It is a nice rig, I can get it, I can do some nice moving with this with something like a GH5 on it, you know, an A7 III on this. I could throw this camera on here and have it on here, the Black Magic. Then it's gonna start being a bit too heavy for it. I have even put on my FS7 before I had my FX9 on this tripod when I was traveling over to Europe, but I knew the majority of stuff I was filming was handheld and I was only using this for a interview where I could just totally locked it off and I wasn't doing any movement. Now, this is uh, the Sackler um, Flotex legs with an ace head. I did a review on this. I have linked up in the corner over here or whatever side in the corner, it's linked up in there. But this is my other tripod here, my kind of big Bertha that I would use for a lot of things. And kind of the more, what I would say more of a, a professional kind of film tripod. So what we have going on here is, this is something that has a lot of different adjustments on here. So I can move this back and forth on the plate here. 
so I can do some better things with my counterbalance. I can also change the tension on here, the spring tension on here for how it's moving back and forth as well. I can change the tension on how stiff it is for the pan, for the tilt, all these things. And this is basically this, this manufacturer here, a cam, cam gear. Um, it's a direct knockoff, 100% knockoff off the Sackler's bigger tripods. Uh, but it's great value for the money, great sticks. I, I can, when I'm using this camera and I'm using it with a teleprompter, I'm using this head. If I'm going into a scenario where I need to be very precise on my movements and how I'm capturing things, or if I'm using a longer lens, this is the tripod I'll be using. You know, so I can get some very accurate movement with this, um, really make it look great using this tripod really get some good resistance is what you want you know i can it's actually pulling against it instead of me trying to slow myself down so you know this is where i would use a, a tripod like this and the head like this which is designed for a lot heavier payload and i can counterbalance with that again this one this head here is it for a different payload you know so i'm using this on different scenarios and again this little travel one here for very lighter light cameras. But there's definitely is some drawbacks from using a tripod like this. Um, one of those main things is that this is a heavy tripod. This is uh, designed for a heavier camera and the whole tripod itself weighs quite a bit more. So if I was doing a trek into the woods, if I was shooting mountain biking, if I needed to hike into a location, if we had a place where we needed to get into and I'm moving around a lot, I might be rethinking bringing this tripod with me. And a lot of occasions, as I talk about in my Flowtech review, is why I would bring this one with the lighter legs on it, lighter head. I am compromising for a head that might not give me the best for my weight, but I'm usually, if I'm doing a scenario like that where I am needing to travel into a place, I'm usually breaking down the camera a bit more so it's lighter and it does balance better on a smaller head, a smaller weight range. This travel kind of smaller tripod the head on this i would say is where i'd be using when i am traveling if i'm just shooting with something like the, my gh5 or my a7 III, or if i'm shooting with a black magic without the battery back on this without a v mount mount on it if i'm just using the internal batteries or using the little tannin batteries that you use inside of the black magic that could use this on this but it's just kind of like, it really doesn't move that great. And I am definitely, if I have the time and the space and I'm not worried about carrying the weight as much, I would rather carry this over this, no problem. So these are just my thoughts on tripods, why I would use different tripods for different scenarios, for different cameras, and what you should think about when you are purchasing a tripod or you're looking for a tripod to match a camera that you're using. And I know I've, a lot of people think about investing in a tripod as kind of not a great thing to invest in when you're buying camera equipment. You know, they think buying lighting, buying lenses is more important. That's what's gonna change your image. In some ways they are correct. That is what's gonna directly, you know, the image coming to your sensor that you're recording. But I would argue that a proper tripod for the camera that you're using is just as equally important and a key piece of kit. I would not go out on a job, I wouldn't call myself having a proper kit if I showed up with a little dinky photo tripod for a proper camera. I wouldn't consider that a piece of kit and, and something that I could charge for as my kind of coming around as an owner operator. Having the right tripod is really gonna make the difference really going to help you and I wouldn't think about it as that big cost that you look at you know, thinking of spending two thousand three thousand five thousand dollars on a tripod and head don't think of that as an expense that year this is different than flipping cameras you know cameras we might be buying a new camera every year a new camera every two years the way technology is changing technology on tripods hasn't really changed that much it hasn't changed that radically it's not the same as cameras it's not the same as camera sensors so a investing in a good tripod, spending that money, spending that three grand, spending that five grand, say if you're starting out maybe spending a thousand dollars on a tripod, like something like the Flowtech, that is money well spent because if you're planning to have a longer career, you know, 
you should be thinking that tripod's gonna work for you for the next 10 years for sure. I would like to say that I think I'm gonna have these tripods or some of these tripods for the next 20 years. I know there's other sticks that I have, other tripod that I have, this uh, Miller Solos that I've had for 10 years. I still use those as well. And I don't see anything really changing with them. So think about it that way, guys, when you're thinking about investing in your camera gear or investing in tripods, thinking about it as a long game, something like investing in lighting stands and C stands, things that you're gonna have for a long time really changes the way you think about spending that money and why you want to spend that money. So let me know guys in the comments below, what do you guys think? What tripods do you use? Have you really considered? Do you think it's a waste of ton money to spend too much money on a tripod? And uh, let me know what we would like to see in another video coming up. I'll create some more content like this for you guys. See you on the next one.